Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles, where I'm continuing my solving through the 2015 set three of the World Puzzle Federation Sudoku competition set. Um, we are now getting into the last few puzzles with, and we're, this one is a consecutive quads Sudoku, which in the original puzzle set was worth 40 points. And this puzzle was created by Ashish Kumar. And this is a puzzle using a constraint I've never seen before. So I'm kind of looking forward to exploring this one. In the description below, you will find a link to this puzzle, as well as to the World Puzzle Federation um, uh, website, where you will find their Sudoku archive, which will include all of the packs they've released from 2014 up until today. Um, so hopefully you'll enjoy that. I'm also creating a playlist, which will include all of these puzzles. And if I do more of these, all of the sets that I'll release in future. So let's see how that goes. If you're enjoying this set and you think I should do more, um, I will not be doing them frequently, but if you think I should do more, then of course, uh, please let me know in the comments below. Let's have a look at the rules of consecutive quad Sudoku from World Puzzle Federation 2015 round three. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. A white circle means that in the two by two area around it, or the two by two area around it contains exactly one pair of consecutive digits. A black circle means that the two by two area around it contains at least two consecutive pairs of digits. Repeats are allowed. Um, example, two, four, five, six is valid with four, five and five, six. And so is two, five, six, five. Um, no, there's no example where that could be used, but that would be allowed. Um, not all possible circles are necessarily given. Um, so let's restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So there must be, how does this work? So three can't be consecutive. Well, three is consecutive with two. So I've got one, but I must get another consecutive in here, but it could just be those two digits. There's one consecutive. Oh, how do I break into this? There's exactly one consecutive in here, exactly one in here, exactly one in here, and exactly one in here. Let's start with some Sudoku, shall we? There must be a three in one of those two, and it's not here. This is a three. Let's do some Sudoku. That puts three in one of those two. Two and two puts two in one of those two. 3, 3 puts 3 in one of those two. 1, 1 puts 1 in one of those two. Uh, 2, I've got the 2s. Let's do more with 2s if we can. 2 is in one of those two. 2, 2, 2 in one of those two. Yeah. 2 is in one of those two. But there must be two sets of consecutives in here. But if I put a four in here, I've got my two consecutives. Three, five, nine. In order to get one consecutive in there, because those are all odd, that has to be an even digit and it can't be four or eight. So it's two or six and it's not two. That is six because I need to get consecutiveness in here. And these are all odd. And to get consecutiveness, I need an odd and an even. And that can't be two, four, or eight. That's a six, which means one of these two is a six. Maybe it's parity. Maybe it's parity. And there's my one set of consecutive. Now I can only have one set of consecutive in there. I know four is in one of those. Five is in one of those two. In fact, five isn't there. Five is there, which puts five in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. And that's going to be the one consecutive because four, four puts four in one of those two and three and four are consecutive. So I can't have any more consecutiveness. So I could never put five in here. I couldn't put two in here which I already can't, so that doesn't actually help me. But the other two digits I put in here can't be consecutive. And similarly, I've got two and three in here, so I can't put one in here. 
This can't be a four. If this was a four, I'd have two, three, and three, four. That's not the four, that's the four. And I've got my one consecutive in here. So I can't put five in here, that's fine. I can't put one in either of those. So one is in one of those. I need a consecutive in here. It can't be two, three, or three, four. Not sure. Two, oh, I've got the two. So I've got my one consecutive here. I can't put a two around this, but I need multiple consecutives. So how am I going to make that work? There must be two consecutive digits in there, which means they must be a run of digits, mustn't they? So if I put a nine in here, the nine wouldn't be consecutive with anything. The one can't be consecutive with anything. So the nine is down here and it's not in here. This is the nine, which puts nine in one of those two. That's interesting. There's my consecutive. So this can't be consecutive. So I can't put a seven in any of those. Seven is in one of those two. which puts seven in one of those two. I must, if this is a three, I've got my multiple consecutives. I'm finding this quite tricky. One is in one of those two by Sudoku. So one's not there. In fact, seven is in one of those two. If this is seven, that would have to be four. Hang on, if this is seven, how do I get multiple consecutives in here? If this is seven, how do I get multiple consecutives in here? One would be consecutive with two, but three and seven wouldn't be consecutive. Four wouldn't give me multiple consecutives because two wouldn't be consecutive with anything but, th oh no, I could, four. Two, yeah, because I've got one consecutive here. So one would work, yeah, no, that would that would be easy. Six is down here. Oh, this is a seven nine pair, which is not consecutive. So this has to be consecutive with either four, and it can't be because it can't be three or five. So this has to be consecutive with seven or nine. This is six or eight. And I still need multiple consecutives in here. Well, I've got one. If I made this six, I'm good. Whew. One is not in here. Eight is not in any of those. Eight is in one of those three. There's definitely something about this I'm not comprehending right. I think box five is more powerful than I'm giving it credit for, but I don't understand how. I really don't understand how. This can't... This is three, four, six. It can't be seven because I've got my consecutive. It can't be five. I need multiple consecutives in here, but I can't use a two. So this is not part of the multiple consecutives. So this is from three, four, five, six. If I don't use a five in here, how am I getting consecutiveness? If I don't use a five in there, how am I getting two consecutive digits? Because these are from three, four, five, six, because they're not one, two, and they're not seven, eight, nine. If I don't use a five, how do I get two consecutive digits? Six needs five, four needs three. I need a five in there. I absolutely need a five in there. Because three, if there's not, they're three, four, six, and three, four, six is only a single set of consecutiveness. So there's no five here. This is the five. 
and I need two consecutives. And if three was one of them, I wouldn't get there. This is four, six. So this is three, seven, which means this isn't the three, this is the three. This isn't the three, this is the three. Now, I do not have, oh, I've got my consecutive. So this can't be a three or I'd have multiple consecutives. That's the seven, that's the three. So another three in the, and I've broken the puzzle. This is wrong. So was I right here? Yeah, so I don't understand this. Because one, two, three, four, five, six. And I need to get multiple. Because they can't be seven, eight, or nine. Do I I can't put seven there? Oh, I could put seven there. If I put seven there, though, I've got multiple consecutives. So these are from three, four, five, six. They have to be. There's no five in those. There's no four there. But if these, if there's no five here, I've got three, four here. One won't be consecutive with anything. And six, six, wouldn't be consecutive with anything. So three, four, six, this has to be a five. I'm gonna confirm that. Yes, that is a five. And if I put a three in, but this is now broken because as soon as I put a three here, that's wrong. Why, where did I get the pencil mark checker from? Conflict checker is off. Okay. This has to be a five. Oh, this could be three, four. Because if this is three, four, the four is consecutive with the three and the five. This is really tricky, by the way. But there must be a four in here. Because if I make this four, six, they're both consecutive with five. Three, four, the four is consecutive with both. But if this is three, six... The three is not consecutive with anything and the one is not consecutive with anything. There must be a four in there, which means there must be a four down here. So this is from three, six, seven. Now this can't be a six and it can't be a three. So this is a seven. This isn't a seven. This is a three or a six. And the three looks down making that the six and this is a three, four. So this isn't the three. This is the three. This isn't the three. This is the three. And there's my multiple consecutives. There and there. I've got one consecutive in here. These are one, six, and eight. But I can't have an extra consecutive in here. But none of these can be consecutive. Six and eight wouldn't be consecutive with three, four, one, and six. There's nothing in here that can be consecutive. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one and six, but I can't put a six there. That's the one, that's the six. That's not a six. Now, this is the only place I can put a four now, isn't it? Yeah, there's no six there. That's a one, eight. That's a six. We've now got multiple consecutives. This is now the four, and this is one, two, three, two, and eight. And the eight is looking down, making that the two and that the eight. Sorry, I got lost in the weeds over here. This is a new constraint for me. And I always find I have to explore new constraints. If you don't, congratulations. Two looks up, making that not the two. This is the two. This is a triple, which is one, four, and seven. Now, we don't have a consecutive here yet. We need multiple consecutives here, but a four could do it and a one could do it. If I put a seven in here, though, these would have two, three. Five wouldn't be consecutive anything. Seven wouldn't be consecutive anything. That can't be a seven. This has to be a one or a four. And it's not a one because of the one looking up. That's a four. This is a one, seven meaning that's not the seven, that's the seven. One, two, three, this is a four. Now I've got multiple consecutives here, two, three, and three, four. This is a triple. In fact, I can just put the one in here and this is a pair. This is eight and nine, but I need multiple consecutives in here. 
Well, two can't be consecutive with anything. So six, seven can be, but seven has to be consecutive with eight and this becomes the nine. I've got one consecutive only in here and I've got multiples in here. I've got one in here and only one. I've only got one in here, the two and the three. There's nothing in here, but it will be the six and the seven. I've got multiples in here. I've got one here, the three and the four. I've got multiples here. I've got one here, the one and the two. I've got multiples here, the three, four and the four, five. I've got one here, the eight and the nine. Okay. Now, this isn't the two anymore. This is the two. So there's my consecutive. So this can't be consecutive with two, three, or nine. So it can't be one, two, three. It can't be four. It could be five, six, seven. It can't be eight because that would be consecutive with nine. Now it can't be six and it can't be five. So this is seven, meaning this is one and this is seven. These. Well, four can't be in any of those or there. That's four and this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. Well, there's no eight in either of those. That's the eight. This is a five, six. The five is looking up, making that the six and that the five. These, well, the four is looking down, making that the three and that the four. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, and nine. And the six is making that the nine and that the six. That gives me my consecutive pair. So when I put these in as three and eight, this can't be an eight because then I'd have a consecutive there and a consecutive there and I can only have one. So that's the three, that's the eight. These are one and four. And the one is looking across making that the four and that the one. There's my consecutive, the, there's, and it's the only one. Here, the two is consecutive with the one and the three. In here, one and five. The five is looking up, making this the one and this the five. In here, six and eight. And the six is looking up, making this the eight and this the six. I've got one consecutive. Five is not consecutive with anything else. Eight isn't. Four is consecutive with five and five is consecutive with six. These are seven and nine and six will be consecutive with seven. So that will work. The seven makes that the nine and that the seven. This row is missing its one. The three and the four are consecutive. Let's put these in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are eight and nine. The eight looks down, making that the nine and that the eight. The three and the four are consecutive. The one isn't with anything. The nine isn't with anything. The seven and the eight are consecutive. The one isn't with anything. The three isn't with anything. These are five and six, which will be consecutive. The three isn't with anything. The eight isn't with anything. The five looks down, making that the six and that the five. And now I've checked all the consecutiveness. The seven looks down, making that the nine and that the seven. The one looks down, making that the eight and that the one. That was that was a lot of fun. I'm sorry I had to do the checking down here, but I got lost in the weeds. I realized when I had two threes in the column that I'd gotten a bit lost and I had to figure it out. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm really enjoying this. There's only a couple more to do. I don't think I'll be able to record them um, in the next day or so, but I'm recording about a week in advance anyway, so you'll never notice. Thank you everyone for watching, and as always, good luck with your solving.